I'll never forget. My name is Marie Chabot. Uh, I was born and raised in Massachusetts, but in the mid 80s, I moved to Nashville. You made me smile. And I did a lot of demo work. I did um, background vocals for other artists and I did demos for songwriters, but eventually um, I moved back home. So I've been back in Massachusetts since 2000. And um, I come back to Nashville as often as I can. You know, the other albums that I did on my own songs, I did them in studios with musicians who were my age or older, had been doing studio stuff forever. These guys are like my kid's age. I mean, they're, they're young and they're, they have a whole different um, perspective. Dreams to follow me. It's called The Other Side. And I know someday I will hear you laugh again. And I know missing you will go away in time. My husband's been gone for 30 years. But you don't get over something like that. And I found myself thinking about that. And I was listening to, to Sarah Bareilles, and she has a, a line in one of her songs that says, yeah, and I'll get over you on the other side of Sunday. And I went, what? The other side of Sunday? <laughs> That's a song. When it comes out and it's so like, oh my goodness, that's exactly what I heard in my head. It, these guys seem to have that. It's amazing. It's amazing. These songs are very personal to me. They're all something that, that I've lived through. This is real life to me. These are my stories. This is my family. This is my life. My love, I know not where you're going. I know you can no longer stay. So I will not try to stop you. And I know love will lead you home. The album concept came together because I was writing about all these people that had passed away, uh, which sounds really sad, but for me, it was the way of getting through it. His father was a fisherman. When I started just writing about the story His about my grandfather, how he came over here from Italy. They came with aunts and uncles To find a very different kind of life. I lost my father and my mother within six months of each other. So I started to write a song about them. I don't think Lucy remembers my name. My mother was very articulate, very educated. She was a teacher. The person who had been the nurturer and the one who took care of us, the, the roles were reversed. It's not a sad album, it's a hopeful album. It's sort of like, um, like be being at peace with what's gone on and, and, and what happens after this life and, and is there more and if there is then are those people still teaching us?
after after the grief of losing a parent or a husband or a child even there comes a point where you have to breathe a sigh of relief and let go finally through this process of writing these songs finally ah I can let go and live my life it's for me just fine.